Nerd is new sexy. There are people who hide in the dark. There are people who pretend. I'm going to make my nightmare and my fear their living hell. Because we're nerds. We're becoming popular. Because we're nerds. Fear us. I am vengeance. I am the grilled cheese sandwich. I am grilled cheese sandwich man. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what this episode's about, Sunrise. Got to go with Batman. Na 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 na. Batman. Batman. <laughs> so I want to start off by you know basically talking about the first. Well, I guess we got to start off with Adam West. The Adam West sixty six Batman. Yeah. Yeah. And it's you know and and you know. You might say, oh, well, Batman's not really that nerdy. Batman, yeah, he, he, he kind of is. Think about it. He is like the world's greatest detective, which means he's super smart. He, he was kind of pushed around as a kid. He had to learn how to be a badass. And you don't come up with all those wonderful toys without being like nerdy. And this is we're talking about before Lucius Fox and all that with, with the new 52 and everything else. We're talking about like old school Batman. He made all of this stuff. Yeah, or bought it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or bought it, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know. He buys all of his toys off eBay. You can't trace the Batmobile or you know the no. bat, the bat the bat Visa card. <laughs> yeah. But uh, oh, fuck you, Schumacher. Let's let's talk about yeah yeah. Let's talk about let's <laughs> we'll talk about the old that. old old school Batman. Of course, there's several ones before that. I believe there's like one or two maybe Batmans before the old uh, Adam West Batman. But yeah, like the really old like you know DC back when they were detective comics. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about you know what we can remember. So there you no. go. Uh, I remember the really old cartoon before you know too. But well, it was, you know we'll, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll cover the cartoons. But I I want to cover the live action. Ones yeah first. yeah yeah. See, but I think the, the old old cartoon like you know the one with Scooby Doo. Where he, I think that was based off the Adam West Batman to begin with. Yes, I actually think it was voiced by Adam yes. West too. And and, um, and the, the other fellow that I can never think of that played uh, yeah. Robin. <laughs> yeah, played Robin. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But anyway, the old Adam West Batman. You know, it, it was it had its own magic. It had its own feel to it. Yeah. Uh, it's you know the the bang pow. I remember when I was a kid. I watched that. And that that's almost kind of what one of the things that really turned me on to Batman. I'm a huge Batman fan, by the way. In case you haven't noticed. <laughs> but uh, you know the. It, I don't know. T t what do you think? So, I don't know, some, of, some of the stuff you remember the most about the old Adam West Batman. Uh, the old one, I remember that it was it was like a living comic book. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that I liked. I actually liked. It. I think that's what drew me to it mo uh, uh, overall. Was, was the whole uh, fact that it actually was like a live action comic. It wasn't like like the movies were a little bit darker, a little bit grittier. It was it was very much you know. It, it, you could see each each setup as a page in the comic in the comic book. Well, you know, even with the bang, pow, wham, stuff like that. And yeah, there were some silly moments in it and everything like that. But if you take out some of the stuff like the Batwatusi and stuff like that, <laughs> it it actually even for the time was not really a kids show. It really was for for the for the family and was was a more grown was a more grown up show than some of the things that were out. But it uh, kind of developed into one after time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over over, over time and stuff like that. And I, I remember like uh, uh, Cesar Romero, uh, Romero and stuff like that being the Joker, and even thinking then that wow, this Joker's actually kind of frightening. Like because he tries to pre a couple times he pretends to be like all nice. Like one time, I kid you not, in the original one had an art class, <laughs> an art class for Gotham City's you know high high you know hoity toity type type people. And Bruce Wayne <laughs> attends and has this really nice painting. And the Joker takes paint and smears it all over. And he goes, there, doesn't that look better? Isn't that more interesting? And I forget what exactly what Adam West said. But that is when Joker loses it and then decides, you know what? I'm not going to wait. You're all kidnapped now. And now I'm going to ransom you back <laughs> to your families. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, this is a time where in a TV show, you know, a the Joker really was trying to murder Batman and Robin. Yeah. He, he would put them on saws and, and stuff like that. Episode, it was like, there was like a trap and it was all. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, he's actually trying to murder them in a 1960s TV show. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like the original Penguin too. I forget the guy who plays wah, it. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, he he was a good Penguin. I mm -hmm. actually thought the original guy was a great Penguin. Um, yeah, the Catwoman on even the Catwoman, the original Catwoman was was great. Mm hmm. 
Probably you know, a pretty woman too. Yeah, she set she set a high standard for playing a Catwoman. Um, I remember Riddler being really goofy and not very more more silly than he was, you know, riddly ish. More yeah, well he was more riddly ish, but he was he was very really riddly ish and in fact that's what made him silly. He just wasn't um I don't think I don't think that his his background story was pretty much as attuned as it is now. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He well, yeah, it, and he would leave notes that it were, were so simple. And I just remember the guy who was playing Robin like slamming his fist in his, into his hand and going, "Of course." It's like, "Holy, well, no something, kidding, something of Batman. course." Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the silly little catchphrases and stuff like that. And that's that's what made it made for you know that's what made it kind of like developed into like a kids show, which you know yeah. it was. Just, I think that's why they really brought in Robin. Yeah. You know, he was he was the uh, I want to say comic relief slash you know one one liner guy that you know that got beat up. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Or kidnapped. Yeah, he didn't really do a whole heck of a lot. And I gotta admit, watching those two climb up like a building and knowing <laughs> yeah. how they you know as an adult knowing how they did that effect, mm-hmm. it's pretty fucking funny. Oh yeah, a very very uh, uh, creative way of doing it though. For back I mean, in the day, yeah. Yeah. He didn't have the safety equipment and the harnesses and the way to erase stuff in, in post-production. So, yeah, just have them sitting on the floor and, and pull their cape back with threads and stuff like that and have, have them act like they're crawling up the side of a, a building. And... Yep. That was, of course, before the bat grappling hook. That was the grappling hook. It was the bat, uh, whatever that like thing. that Bat like, grappler or whatever. Or, yeah, the grappler or whatever. Whatever the thing is that, like, pulls him up. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. It's been forever since I've played the games. Um. But yeah, it was, it was, it's Adam West Batman was pretty fucking cool. And, yeah. uh, it, it, you know, the old Batmobile, the 66 Batmobile, oh, it was beautiful. You know what? It was amazing. Uh, it was, yeah. you know, but at the time it looked, you know, state of the art, but you, you get in that thing now and you're like, uh, where's the Wi Fi? Yeah, I, I do like the original, uh, bat car. I mean, that thing is very symbolic, stuff like that. You, you show anybody a picture of that and you're like, oh, yeah, that's the old 60s Batman yep. car. People still love that car. Yep. I still love that car. It's my second favorite Batmobile. Speaking of which, what is your favorite Batmobile, Sunray? You know, I actually do really like the Tumbler oh. uh, as as the Bat as the Batmobile because I just like because it, it could just crash through everything. Um, now I, I I definitely see where the uh, uh, Arkham Knight got the whole Bat Tank idea. It was yeah, it's definitely based off that Tumbler. The Tumbler, yeah, I agree. Um, I would actually have to say if it wasn't the first one, it was the animated the first animated series Batmobile, which was based off of the yeah the uh, the uh, dark well not the Dark Knight the movie the Yes. Batman the movie, which this... yeah, the animated series, not not the original Batman cartoon. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I mean the the Batman the animated, animated series. series. Yeah, that one looked really badass. It kind of had the old '60s look, but a little '50s retro, a little steampunky. I really liked it. It uh, yeah, I gotta agree. It was like I said, it was based off my favorite, which is the one with Michael Keaton. Yeah, you know, it was when I first saw that Batmobile and I saw him like you know he he talks into whatever and he says like shields and and then like yeah. the Batmobile just. Sh- you get like shields up. I, I was like, "Oh God, that's awesome! I want a car like that." Yeah. Oh yeah. That would that would have been so badass. Oh God. And then of course, <laughs> the uh, oh by the way, the the lady who played the original uh, Batgirl passed yeah. away. Really? Yes. I think it was this year sometime. So moment of silence for her. Yeah. So anyway, she passed away, and she was amazingly beautiful. I mean, the, the, the oh yeah, red hair, you know, coming coming out of the ponytail in the back. Of, oh, it was, she just, oh yeah, she, yeah, she was a good Batgirl. Yeah, she's she was definitely what what Batgirl was based off of. Yeah, but uh, you know, later on in the in the stories and such in the, in the uh, series. But uh, okay, we'll, we'll we'll segue on to uh, Batman the movie, which Michael Keaton. Well, I guess Batman the movie with with. <laughs> Yeah, it was a Tim Burton movie. Bat- Definitely a Tim Burton movie. Well, Very thinking, obvious. I was thinking more along a bat shark repellent. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that movie. Batman did have the bat. Adam West Batman did have a movie. It was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> if you haven't watched it, I say you should watch it. But we'll segue <laughs> on to the to Tim Burton Batman movie. Now, I, I I'm a big fan of this movie only because I went and seen it with my dad, and it just like brought forth the love for Batman even more. Yeah. So I love I love this movie. In fact, I love this movie more than some of the later movies, except with the exception of the uh, the the ones with the tumbler in it. And you know, it, it just completely screwed some of the storyline. <laughs> and I mean. I, I'm not a big, I'm not a, you know, everyone's like, Tim Burton, oh my God, everything he touches is gold. No, 
No, no. no most of the stuff he touches is gold. Like 75% most. of the stuff he touches is gold. <laughs> the rest of it is, uh, you know, fucking that dude. Weird. Be, yeah. Just weird. Just <laughs> weird to be weird. Well, it's tough. I don't know. I, like I said, I liked, the, I liked the neutrality and the Chaka Factory and, the way, and, and his take on it. And I die. That movie sucks. I hate it. The Chaka <laughs> Factory. But, I really like it. But we're getting off topic. Back to the Batman, Batman movie. Now, this is where um, the whole dark take on the dark night came dark which is beautiful yeah yeah it definitely i remember okay i remember watching this movie the first time and even my parent my my mother really forgot now to hear my mother talk fondly about batman and stuff like that and, and with all the stuff that i'm like holy shit why does my mother know about batman <laughs> like when she's watching stuff like that she's like the joker's too dark he's he, he's too dark he's he's they, they just made him a serial a serial killer he, he's just psychotic batman he, he's more interested in beating everybody up. He, he he seems like more of a bad guy. He, he he's he's too mean as a Batman. Batman should be more helpful. Get, the Joker reminded me way too much of Satan because he was like <laughs> getting all these people. No, and and no, her reasoning what what being was the Joker's trying to get everyone on his side that he's the good guy. Batman's the bad guy, and then the Joker starts poisoning everybody and killing everybody. And I was just like, you know, you kind of got a point, a- but that is the Joker. There is a point there, but that is definitely that is yeah. definitely part of the and joke. I will say this: as much as I don't like the first movie, you know, as much as all the other ones, uh, the, like the newer ones and stuff like that. After going back through and rewatching it again, Jack Nicholson has really grown on me as the Joker. He made that character his own. That is a unique, different Joker, and I like it. See, my Joker list goes Mark Hamill. Oh God, yes. One. Yes, and then, and then between the two is is uh, of course Jack Nicholson and uh, you know Dead Guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I, which which was in a yeah, yeah. Uh, not Caesar Romero. Uh, uh, Caesar Romero would be like a three. He's yeah. a third, but like uh, um, no, I'm talking about uh, fucking Brokeback Mountain. Oh Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger, thank you. Uh, Heath Ledger and the Batman or the the Joker we were just talking about would be number two, Jack Nicholson. So it'd be like a mix up between them and then yeah, and then everything yeah. everyone else is yeah. after that. Yeah, for me, I would I would have to say it was Heath Ledger, and I'm not saying that just because he was dead. Because I remember watching that movie and not hearing, and it, for some, whatever reason, I had watched the movie before I somebody told me Heath Ledger had died. Yeah, and I I don't remember what why that happened. I just remember all of a sudden someone go, yeah, you know Heath Ledger's dead. And I went, wait, what? And it was <laughs> after I saw Batman, and I thought he was great because I was just like, okay. This is a really good Joker. Yeah. After that, I would say it would be either uh, Cesar Romero or the um, the guy who did the the voice for the Joker in the original animated ser- series with Kevin Conroy, obviously Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Yep. Uh, and then I would put Jack Nicholson. Look, I, I, I freaking love John DiMaggio. I think he's a very talented voice actor. I think... I just don't like his take on the on the Joker. I thought he did okay. You're talking about in the Red Hood, uh, yeah, the movie animated movie. I thought he did okay. I think he did all right. The guy who, you know, I just don't think that. I just it just sounded like, of course, like Tara Strong or whatever her name is. It sounded mm-hmm. like John DiMaggio trying to sound like the Joker. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like Bender or you know Jake trying to fucking be the Joker. And then it just did. You can hear it, but I mean, when yeah. he laughed, I loved it. I thought I was like, oh, that's spot on. Yeah. But, uh, there, there's another guy who who did it and. Uh, Everyone hates the Joker because the Joker has dreadlocks and stuff like that. But let me oh, tell you God. something about okay. oh. let me tell you something about that Joker. I loved how just psychotic all of a sudden he would go. He would just be sitting there. He goes, do you know why I like puppies? They lick your face and they sit at your feet. And then they taste great in a stew. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, my God, fuck <clears throat> this guy. <laughs> They taste and he, greatness, dude. Yeah, and I mean, he's like all nice and talking all normal, and then he like fucking snaps mid sentence, and it's like, oh, I need to go now. <laughs> yeah, we'll I like that about that Joker. But you know, that's that's writing too. I mean, the voice in the voice affliction, he gets credit on that, but at the same yeah. time, it's just that was a shitty Joker with a. I don't care. The dreadlocks killed it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now, I, yeah. The design was not good. The guy who played the Joker in Arkham Origins was actually well fucking done. Yes, yes, I will give him that. Well, I mean, because it was Mark Hamill at the time. Mark Hamill was like, "I'm not doing the Joker no more. We killed him off." Blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, you don't know that I'm coming back. You know that kind of thing. And uh, and it, I was just like, "Oh man, I'm gonna hate this." Because well, first and foremost, when I played Arkham Origins, I was pissed that Kevin Conroy wasn't fucking Batman. Yeah. But the guy who played Batman was also pretty spot on too. So it was a good game. Yeah, all that's around. true. Yeah. Um. Well, anyway, <laughs> we're gonna move on to uh. We, we actually, yeah, we'll move on to Batman Two. We kind of went off track there, but we'll move yeah. on to Batman Two or Batman Returns, I think it's called, right? Yeah. With Danny DeVito as the 
fucking penguin and Michelle Pfeiffer as Miss Catwoman. Yeah, Selena Kyle. Um, I think the only thing I liked about that movie was the fact that Danny DeVito played the penguin. Yeah. And he did a very good job at it. I didn't I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, I love Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Well, you know, she eh. she played she kinda you could kind of see the old Catwoman. I'm talking the old 66 Catwoman. Yeah. In how she played it. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, that's true. Could, I mean, it's just I don't think it the way they portrayed her worked. No, it I I do like the backstory, the retarded back never mind my French, the retarded <laughs> backstory that they came with her, you know, like uh, they came with her because so take it back. I like the the backstory they gave with even though it was kinda like against what I know of Selena, Selena Kyle. However, yeah. it was kind of cool seeing her, you know, I was just a regular person working for, uh, um, uh, well, anyway, she was working for, yeah, she was working for, you know, uh, Christopher Walken. Yeah. <laughs> she worked for him and had a horrible life and her boyfriend just left her. And, you know, it was nice to see that she was a human being before mm-hmm. she snapped. And Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that I did like it. But when she did snap and when she, you know, when she was Catwoman, when she played Catwoman, it was just horrible. One of the things I like about the whole Batman in general is the duality now what yeah. i and as far as like a character uh, a per, uh, the, the person playing the character they have if you get a bat someone to play batman they have to play batman and bruce wayne equally as well yeah and i think that's where uh the nolan movies aren't quite as good i agree um uh, honestly i think that's bale's fault more than anybody else um yeah. But we'll get to you that. know we'll with to... Michael Keaton, I think he did a phenomenal job with that, where he would play Batman a little bit more gruff, a little bit more serious. And yeah. it was Bruce Wayne. He was like, "Hi, I'm Michael Keaton. How you doing?" Hey, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, okay. I see Michael Keaton playing Batman. However, I see a Batman who is Michael Keaton. Yeah. So it's like I I actually could buy that because he he was a little bit different, a little bit more swaggery when he was you know playing Batman. He was kind of you know he wasn't as playboyish as I think he should be as Bruce Wayne, which I think they got the new one a little too overboard. Yeah. With 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 Bruce Wayne with the hey look I'm a playboy millionaire woo. Yeah. Well, I mean uh, that's more yeah. that's more like uh that's more like uh Again, Oliver right. Queen that is. Yeah. Because he he's he got well, that that's a different story, but you get my idea. But but from, I think it works better for Oliver with yes, the, Arrow does. than it does with Bruce Wayne. It does. Yeah, it really does. And I honestly, I think when they told Bale to be gruff and everything like that, and Bale was like, "This is my gruff voice." You mean Bane? They kind of went, "Well, oh, at Bale, least no, he doesn't right. sound like Keanu Reeves." Well, I, I, you know, that's one of my biggest complaints about Bale is, and I think a lot of people agreed. You know, was like, okay, when you're Batman, you know, when you're my, when you're when you're playing when you're playing. Uh, Bruce Wayne, be like yourself, but when you're Batman, be extremely gruff. Uh, what, what, where's the Joker? Where's the where Joker? Where is he? You know, it, it just got like, to the point where you're, <laughs> like, you want to laugh at Batman instead of going like, oh God, he's badass. So, yeah, you know, yeah. That, that, but that's that. So we got... What's the difference between you, me, you and me? Oh, I'm not wearing hockey mask. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, but you sound like a 12-year-old trying to sound like he's an adult. Yeah. <laughs> so and that's the only, that's one of the things I don't like about the new Batman is, is Bale. But I, honestly, they, they really kind of, and I like, the, I like some of the references they make back to the original uh, uh, um, Batman movies and stuff like that, where oh, like yeah. the second one the, in the Dark Knight Returns, where, where he's like, you know, you want to be able to turn, or yeah, he goes, you want to be able to turn your, your head. He goes, yeah, I want to, you know, it's like because of the original bat suits, they couldn't, they turn, couldn't their heads. turn their heads. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, it's funny, but it, yeah. <laughs> I watched a, uh, I watched an interview with Michael Keaton where he was like, he said he got really frustrated because, and you notice like he turns his whole torso when he looks at someone yeah. in the movie. But I will say this, it gave him a unique stature on screen when Batman, every time he turned to look, someone turned his entire body like, what's up, bitch? Well, it made him look prepared prepared for anything yeah so it was it it, it was an un, unforeseen uh, uh bonus i think it might it, and i can only imagine how frustrating i remember hearing about how horrible it was to put that cowl on oh just yeah. they had to cram it on their heads like baby powder and yeah and late you know liquid latex and everything like that to yep. slip it on and yeah <laughs> and it was supposed at, to like an bad. hour to get off and <laughs> the uh well, we're, since we're, like I said, we're on the topic of, of the second Batman Returns, one of the things that really frustrated me was, um, where do the rubber duckies come in? What what does a rubber ducky have to do with, like, Penguin? I Oh, yeah, we're talking about, yeah. And the, and the Batman. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
he was he rode in a rubber ducky. I remember that thing. I think it was just because of an ice thing, and it was probably a, like an amusement park yeah. type thing. And but it made yeah, no I sense. I never got that. I never Here's got what it. I want to see in the new Batman movie. Say what you will about the last one with Bane and stuff like that. I, I liked Bane. I like the take on Bane. I like the fact that he actually broke Batman's back. I don't like that 90% of the movie, Batman wasn't Batman. Ah. Uh... I think that uh uh what what uh played Catwoman in the new one. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I forget her name, but yeah. yeah I, her name. I mean, yes, she's no Eartha Kit. I thought she actually did very good though. Um, and, and honestly, Eartha Kit put put such a high bar for Catwoman in the '60s. <laughs> you are never gonna live up to Eartha Kit. <laughs> I mean, no, you're well, really not. Well, let's look. Um, at, look at... I will say this though, in Gotham, the the, the TV series. Oh God, yes. Out, uh, that girl is fuck. As soon as I saw her, I went. That's Selena That's Kyle. Selena Kyle. That's her. Gotham That's her got as a kid. Right. She, she right. nailed it. Nails that character. I like the kid as Bruce, we'll get, as a young Bruce we'll Wayne. Get, we'll get to that. We're getting ahead. Yeah, person. yeah, we'll get to that I, because I, I fucking love Gotham. Now you Sorry, got guys. Me excited. Now you got me excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we will talk about that. But yeah. But um, uh, uh, okay. But yeah, uh, I thought she'd get at the end when uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt is told, you know, and I and I remember hearing I think I forget what his name in in the sh- in in the movie was, but I remember going, "That's Robin." Why why does that why does his name make me th- was it Jason? Were they keep calling him Todd or Jason? They they kind of I forget what exactly they were calling him, but they said, "I you should use your real name. I like it, Robin." Robin. And that yep. was the end. And he finds the Bat Cave, and I remember thinking, "Oh my God, please! If they're gonna do." Continue on here. Yes, make him the new Batman or make Nightwing movies. See, that's what I'm thinking. I see him as Nightwing. He I'd would like make to a fantastic see a Nightwing. Nightwing. I would like to see know? a Nightwing movie. I you really know? would. Or, or even Dark Knight or whatever, or, or you know, whatever his name was when when they thought Batman was dead. Yep. During the Superman thing. Fuck, man. He. I think he's. I think he's a good actor too. Yeah. He. I, I really think he, you he know, nails it. He's the pretty Bale, good. The Bill movies, the, those those movies were all really good, but they were all good in their own way. Yes. They, yeah. I, I they love stand the apart. Ray Shal Ghul. I yes. thought they nailed it. Ray Shal Ghul was amazing. But yeah, especially uh, with him being his his mentor and everything like that. I was just like, holy shit, that's Raj Al Ghul. Are yeah. you kidding me? And if I start, so slurring, you're saying Raz and Ray. Oh, okay, okay. I, I might start slurring here. I've got a lot of Jack Daniels. My puppy is in the vet hospital. I'm very worried about him, so I'm drinking very heavily right now. Yes, and I'm, um, I'm drunk too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And keep a knife <laughs> handy at all times. That's right. Because uh, they're easier to get a hold of than a gun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cut that out. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, like, but yeah, I mean, when 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 Al Ghul was on there, I was just like, oh my god, that's Al Ghul, and I, I thought he did a great job. I was just like, wow, who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought that uh, he could play that character? On the topic. especially, yeah, especially when he tends to only have one 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 tone of voice. You took my daughter. I'm gonna find you. I'm really sad right now. I'm really angry right now. What was that guy's, What was the actor's name? He's a really damn good actor. Yeah, he, you know he is, but the only name. problem, like I said, yeah, the only problem that I have with him is that he uh, he has one tone of voice well, for he, everything. He's like Jim Carrey. He, you know, actually, I take it back. Jim Carrey actually has a lot of different acting styles. He, he does now. Like, he didn't at at at, at, no, at first. No, but he was giving everyone what he wanted. But that's beside the that's point. That's true. He's like Will Ferrell. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. He's Will. He's like Will Ferrell. He only acts one way. But he, but yeah. and unlike Will Ferrell, he has a different style. He can he can act differently with every character. It That's just true. sounds the same. But on yeah. the, on the topic of Ray Shal Ghul, one of the <clears throat> one of the big funny things, first and foremost, it's pronounced Raish Al Ghul. Ray Shal Ghul. Now now in Arrow, you hear Raz Al Ghul a lot. It's only because it's Arrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they changed a lot in Arrow, but I think for the better on most of the stuff. Yes, yes. I'm not. Well, I'm not complaining. We'll, we'll do an episode on Arrow another time. But yeah, the fact, in general. The fact, uh, the the thing is, is a uh, Raish in the Bale movies as opposed to Raish in the uh, the Arrow was actually both of them are really impressive. But anyway, okay, we're getting off topic. We're let's go to let's go to the next Batman, which was what Batman. Batman and Robin, I think. I think Batman and Robin was. See, it's hard to tell chronologically. Yeah, I thought, which one. Yeah, I thought Batman and Robin was. It's, uh, it's, it goes Michael Keaton. Uh, what's his name? Out of the way, Peck. Uh, uh, Michael Keaton was the first one. 
Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer, and then it was uh, George Clooney. <laughs> George Clooney. Okay, so so whatever when Val Kilmer was in. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna be bluntly honest. The ones after you know the, the George Clooney and Val Kilmer movies fucking blew. Oh yeah, and that that was because it seemed like they were trying to you know be serious, and they're like, well maybe we should go a little bit more comic-y. Well maybe we should go a little bit more darker again. Ah uh, screw it. <laughs> well okay, first and foremost, look at the writing in the show. Okay, it almost yeah. like they they tried to put everything in the past movies and or you know TV shows together. Yeah. Well that's a good idea, but it's not good. It's a good idea on paper paper but it's not a good idea in reality because in reality doing that you're going to confuse the fuck out of people oh yeah absolutely i mean look and and look you can see the slow transition into like the over i remember the one uh that we're talking about with the one with two face and and the riddler now i will say this jim carrey good riddler I was happy I, with Jim Carrey's. I liked him as Nigma. I I think it, like that 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 whole the really, if knowledge is a god did a god. Am, oh. Yeah, it's like okay, that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. His Harry, laughing, Harry the god. spinning of the canes, him teaming up with Two Face, I thought was an interesting now, concept. I don't think they ever actually would. Now but... my my issue with it with okay, we'll, we'll go to that. Uh, okay. Well, like I said, I'm just gonna say these two are bad, so we're not gonna completely talk too much about them. We'll yeah. Just, we'll, maybe we may talk a little bit, but we'll, we'll go we'll go back and forth on both of them because they're both. I'm gonna look at them as both the same movie. First and foremost, the writing. I I blame the writing in that movie as is why why especially the I'm talking about the one with uh, Jim Carrey and. Yeah. Well, I blame the writing in that movie as to why it was so bad. Now, a lot of people, well, a lot of people do like to disagree with me, just saying it was a bad movie. No, the writing in the movie was horrible. Okay. The the actors and I, the writing, and I want to say the director, the actors that were in that movie are known. Yeah, they're they're the grade A top quality and actors. George Clooney. George Clooney has been in several movies. He's won awards. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones, who's an amazing <laughs> actor. Have you seen oh, him yeah, in guy's Cobb? Amazing. Yeah. Okay, the guy can cry on command. He's a beautiful actor. Now, his acting in, and I know you've heard me say this, Sunray, right? his acting in that particular movie as Two-Face, and I want you to play play Tommy Lee Jones' character. I want you to play Two-Face. Give me a fake line from that movie, then I'll pretend like I'm the director. Oh, okay. Heads, I'm going to drop you to your death. Tails, I'm going to set you down, and we're going to have some tea. Okay, and now I'm the director. I'd be like, no, you got to make that bigger. Heads, I drop you to the floor, and tails, we go have some tea. That's not good enough. Bigger! And that's the problem. That was yeah. the problem. Heads, tell you what. Heads, I'm going to drop you. Then I'm going to start laughing. And then tails, we'll go out and have some tea, maybe some crumpets, and we'll have a nice chat. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly what it was, you know? You know. I mean, it, look at that one line. All right, Bat wants to play. Let's play. Yeah, you it's know. Like, Oh, happy day. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, bad Tommy Lee act- Jones, what happened? Tommy Lee- Did M. Night Shyamalan hire you? Yeah. What happened? <laughs> it was, it's just, it was a damn shame to see him act that way. And it was a damn yeah. shame to see the movie. Now, here's the problem. This, I guarantee you this is what it was. We've got Jim Carrey on set. He's playing the Riddler. You have to keep up with his energy. I understand. And but that, that is yeah. what happened. And, and so Tommy Lee Jones and the directors went, Go bigger, go bigger, go bigger, go bigger. See, now these are all assumptions, but these yeah. are all assumptions that have like backing to them. Watch the movie and you'll see what we're talking about. Yeah, Two Face should be kind of a re- kind of reserved, and yet snap on a moment's notice. Well, he's he's, he's constantly he's, consulting his coin, you know, and he's two people literally. Yeah. Yeah, he he's, he's he, he, is, he is Doctor Je- uh, complex. Yeah, he is Doctor Jekyll, and yes, it is pronounced Jekyll, not Jekyll. It's always been Jekyll. Even the writer says so. And Hyde existing at the exact same time. Yeah, and arguing, and he's it's imagine and imagine you having a dark side of yourself constantly arguing with yourself. Yep. You you can always where people can watch it happen, and you always know it's Two Face talking when he says we mm-hmm. we. It's, yeah. it's a personality disorder, and it's beautiful. I mean, like Two Face is probably one of the most, one of the really cool complex characters in the Batman series. Yep. And then Tommy Lee Jones just fucking rapes him. Yep. Yeah, and 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 now using that to kind of segue because we kind of brushed over the new movies and everything like that. And we, I think we've said as much as we want to say about the new movies. Yeah. In, in relation to the old movies, and using that to segue in the animated series, that Two Face, the original animated series, I thought was really good. He was yeah. always he was always kind of pulled back and he's always got that look on I'm about to lose it at any I'm moment. going to yeah he's like I'm going to I'm gonna flip this coin and if it lands on heads 
I kill you, and if it lands on tails, you jerk me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, can you just kill me? <laughs> yeah, you know. So you know who I thought was an amazing character, and it was almost like a almost like well done in uh, in the um, animated series was fucking Mister Freeze. Yes, Mister. Yeah, Freeze that was better animated Jesus. than it was. Yeah. Um, and he wasn't Arnold, you know. Arnold. He wasn't, uh, you know. Everybody freeze. Yeah. Chill out. Chill out. Sorry, that was on. I, 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 I watched that the other day. I was just like, oh, <laughs> God. It's such a movies? bad movie. Yeah, but Mr. Freeze in the animated series is supposed to be like no heart cold. You know, he wants to bring his wife Nora back, and that's all he's focused on. Yeah, he, he was just so focused on his wife. And if you're not his enemy, unless you're going to stop him from doing something that might help her, which yeah, then you're his enemy. Exactly. So that's what I love about Mr. Freeze is he, he honestly thinks that he's the good guy. He is just trying to get his wife, wife back, you know, to stop the disease, to bring her back. And just get out of my way. I just want to help my wife. If if you're not involved, I don't want you involved. Just stay away from me. Here's an interesting interesting fact about you know one of the the movie with Arnold in it, uh, the Batman movie. Did you know that uh, one of the women that was with him was Batman Forever was the first one. Okay. Batman and Robin was the second one. Okay, so it was Batman. Yeah, it was Batman Forever. That was remember we were making the I remember you making the joke in high school that you were. Because that movie was so bad that we're going to have Batman, Batman Nevermore. Never Batman Nevermore. That's what it was. <laughs> That's right. Um, yeah. But no, the, the, one, of the, one of the females, like there was a black and white chick. Yes. Uh, white it chick was, a, was uh, uh, oh crap. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, yeah. Yeah. Now, that was a really bit part for her because she was actually up and coming at the time. Yeah, she was she was actually rather known at the time. It's yeah. like, well, why is she in this three line part? She, yeah, she only had like literally three lines, and she taught. I think she, I think it was when she was talking to the Riddler. So she talked to. She asked Batman something. No, it wasn't Batman, about Riddler. It wasn't. Yeah, Bat, uh, Yeah, she was talking to Bruce Wayne, and she said she says something, and Bruce Wayne says, "Oh, I prefer something like something or other," and he goes, "She goes, oh well, then walk right this way." And then she just has one other line, and it's like, "Cool, Drew. Yeah. What the hell? Well, was it was it the Riddler? Yeah, because she was hanging she was <clears> hanging <throat> out with uh, the Riddler, and because he had his mind no, sucking. No, no, no. See, that's wrong because Two Faced. That no, that was Two Faced. Yeah, it was, it was Two Faced's women, but was she was hanging women. out with the Riddler. Yeah, I said it was. I said it was. I uh uh Mr. Freeze. I'm wrong. I'm oh yeah 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 yeah. Mr. Freeze yeah. had some women, but they were like. Yeah, he had yeah because Two Faced had the black and white chick. Yeah, and then uh the white chick was hanging out with Riddler and, and, and he was walking arm in arm with them, you know, looking all pimp during his big reveal right. as Edward Nigma. That's right. So that, that's what it was. It was off of uh, Batman and Robin is what it was. Yeah. Yeah. It was bat. Yeah. Batman forever. It was the one with, with two face. And then Batman and Robin was the one with uh, Uma Thurman and, yeah. and, and so, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So it's like, yeah. And then it just was, it just was a very bad, she was a very bad character. And Bane, let's talk about Bane in that movie. At least they got the costume right. But the storyline, Bane is not a fucking idiot. No. He's not, I better smash this, I don't barely talk. You know, Bane, in, in Venom was not created, as far as I know, created by that kind of, that kind of wacky professor guy that, that you know, that was, yeah, it was just bad. It was just, yeah. that movie was all bad. The only yeah, thing. They, I, they try, yeah, I agree. They, they try to make Poison Ivy way too much Mae West and it yes. just doesn't. And the only thing I liked about all of, you know, of course, those two movies is that they kept fucking Alfred. They kept the original Alfred. Yeah. Now this is a here's a story I don't know if any if, if many people know about this because the the guy who played Alfred the original Alfred was on his deathbed I mm-hmm. guess he had cancer when they finally found uh oh what's the guy who played the new Alfred uh, Michael Caine Michael Caine I, who I, look that guy is a badass I love I love him as Alfred Michael Caine I really do I think that he is the best part of the new movies he the the old Alfred had seen who's playing his part. Yeah. And before dying, like, like like not like before, like uh, this is my final words. No, yeah. before a little bit, you know, I have several months, days, whatever. I I don't know the whole story, but before he died, he said that my he's honored to have Michael Caine pick that part up. So that's you know, and the old Alfred was amazing. That's oh yeah, he me. was great. He had that sophistication. Yeah. he was very you know like oh, well, the best actor in all the movies. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah, not that not Michael Keaton can't act or anything no. like that, but he was definitely 
No, he was he just it's just that he played Alfred to the point where it was amazing. Yeah, he would show up and it's like, okay, now that's Alfred's movie. Now we'll go we'll go to the we'll go to some of the the newer movies. The uh, yeah. Uh, we'll start with Batman. Uh, was it Batman? The Dark Knight, I guess. Yeah, first. Dark Knight. I I like that as the as the first one. The Dark Knight was a good one. It's where you first, you know, where it, it, it's a good origins. It's a good origin. Yeah. Story, you know, and then and bringing forth the uh, the Scarecrow. Oh, the guy that got to play the Scarecrow was amazing. The storyline. Yeah, that was really good. Getting to see Raish, like you said, was good. It was yeah. nice to see, you know, uh, uh, Qui Gon Jinn or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, play, yeah. Play, you know, play Raish Al Ghul. It yeah. all makes sense now if you think about it but yeah. uh you know that was amazing it was just a beautiful movie all around i have really no complaints about the movie except yeah. for you know bad voice bad boy i'm bad man <laughs> i'm bad man what do you say oh, I'm yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what i'm <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go to the second one with heath ledger now there's another story to this that i don't know if I, i'm sure people that maybe have looked into it know but a lot of people don't know did you know that Heath Ledger had to go see a fucking psychiatrist because he could not get out of the Joker character? Yeah, and look at how psychotic the Joker is in that movie. I mean, look when when Harvey Dent has the gun against his head and he says, "Okay, heads you live, tails you die." The Joker is excited. Yeah. He did not give a shit. This is the first time that I saw a Joker on the screen who matches what the original Joker was. Well, I wouldn't say the original original Joker, because the original Joker was a, was a serial killer who would leave a Joker card, yeah. and that's pretty much all he was. But the whole sociopath, true psychosis of your life is meaningless, all life is meaningless, who cares if you die? Well, it's all about, and, it, and a lot of people he, will it, disagree. It's just <clears throat> his, his own entertainment. He just, he didn't give a shit about the money. See, I've had people agree with me and disagree with me about this, but I, I, have, a, I have a theory about this joker this joker is all about chaos and oh, people yeah. are like no and it, it's funny because i've had people argue with me like really argue with me and i'm like well, where do you where are you getting the the uh you know where are you getting your facts from this guy he cares about blowing shit up he doesn't care about money you, you what happens if you burn money okay what happens if you burn money sunrise uh it just goes away it goes away that means it's yeah. money that's not coming back into fucking you know yeah in rotation that causes chaos especially if it's yeah. millions of dollars like he did well He's blowing up schools. He's blowing up, you know, fucking up hospitals. hospitals. He's he, he. It's chaos. He likes to see yeah. people run around. He's not hey, a schemer. You kill him, otherwise you both die. Yeah. There's yep. Two Face. You know, not Two Face, but Harvey Dent and uh, that girl. Yeah. There's a lot of like, it's this or this, and it it, mm -hmm. it it what it does is it makes people scramble. Now that's my point. He's a he's a he's like a harbinger of chaos. So. That's what I liked about him. He's, you know, each Joker brought something else to the table. He brought chaos. And I think that's why they didn't go with the, the Riddler for the next movie is because the Joker kind of acted a little bit like Riddler in that one where he was kind of like leaving clues and like, you know, I'll, I'll blow up, you know, one of these hospitals. Yeah, I've got, you know, someone here and someone there. And the fact that he lies after getting his ass whooped by Batman and lies to Batman and says, oh, yeah, this they're over here and she's over here, mm -hmm. you know, and then it's just like, who cares? Sews a bomb inside that guy, you know, just to, yeah, <laughs> and just to blow him up, you know, and just not giving a damn. Yeah. And the fact that he used a knife like he used to. Yeah. Like, it was, you know why I prefer blades? It's like, oh, my God, this guy's a fucking psych psychopath. And the fact, the story of how he got those scars, you know, just how, yeah, how changes. Constantly lying. It's it's just beautiful. And with, with lying comes chaos because there's no yep. truth. The fact that that's my point after that. I've, like I said, I've had people like really argue with me about it. No, no, he's a schemer. No, he's not. He's just no, he's just he really going isn't. along. In fact, there's a. There's that line, that that line where he talks about he doesn't like schemers when he's talking to Two Face. Yep. In the hospital when he gives them that whole idea about you know getting revenge on Gordon. Well, so that that's that on on that that movie. The third the the third and final movie. Well, you know what? I wasn't a big fan of. I I thought it was cool. I liked some of the the gadgets. Um, yeah. And I will say this. Um, uh, the guy who played Lucius Fox, fuck, I can't remember names tonight. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, yeah. yeah. Morgan Freeman was Mr. amazing. I will read you a phone book, and everybody will sit down and listen. Yeah, it, <laughs> Mor the guy Morgan is amazing. Freeman is amazing. He was amazing, Lucius Fox. You know, in, I'm glad they brought in Lucius. Yes, I really am. He was a big part of of Batman's 
of Bruce Wayne's life, especially after you know a certain part of the comic. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I we'll just we'll just briefly touch the third one because I mean I I I liked it, but I wasn't a big fan. I did not like Bane. You didn't like Bane, Mr. Wildfire. No, I didn't. Bane was a big fucking man-tittied asshole. Oh, but come on. I've got sophistication. Like Sean Connery. Yeah, that's exactly. It's like they told him to talk. It, and that's the part of the joke right there is because they, they told him, use your Sean, best Sean Connery voice yeah. and talk into a he cup. He did. Yeah. He did. <laughs> so... But you know, it I like you know, I liked how they brought Talia Al Ghul into it. Yeah. I didn't like her as Talia though. Yeah. I'm sorry, but Talia is supposed to be this very sensual, you know, very very fit woman, very very scheming. I didn't like that she was the child who escaped the la- the you know, the pit. Well, and... the story, that's why the whole the whole idea is I didn't like that's I didn't yeah. like all that to begin with. It's because... like, you know what, I'm sorry. I believe that Raj, you know, trained his daughter to be up to be a badass from birth, but I don't think he threw her into a fucking pit. No, and Bane and had nothing to do with it. And that she would survive. And in, this, in the original stories, Bane has nothing to do with it. No, he's, of a, he's a venom addiction. Yeah, so, you know, it I, I was cool that they kind of went up about it their own way, but it, it's, it's just, you can only change the storyline so much till I'm like, okay, I'm done. But in this case, you know, like like I said, Bane was okay. I could handle him in small doses, but just yeah. there was other parts where it was ridiculous. And you know, I will go and I'm going to talk about Catwoman, the chick who played Catwoman. I the little fake fucking ears they put on her, those goggles, that was stupid. I okay, no, see, I liked that take on it. That her goggles made it look like she had ears. I liked that. Yeah, yeah I just I I thought it was dumb. Watching her ride that bike though, I got a boner. I'll say that much. Well, okay, yes, yeah, see. But that has nothing to do with the bat, the, her cat goggles. I fucking hated yeah. those things, you know. Yeah, but they do the same thing in Gotham, though. They kind of give her the little goggles, yeah. and they kind of look like cat ears. Those are round goggles, dude. That, okay, that's true. Those are those are more true to the actual co- costume. You get my point? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But anyway, you know, okay, that, that's all I'm going to say about the third movie. The third movie really frustrated me in that aspect. But yeah. uh, <clears throat> the animated series, if you guys haven't seen the animated series, I suggest you watch it. Another Kevin good, Conroy is an awesome, awesome Batman. Another good one, and I'd like to see an actual live-action movie on this. Batman Beyond? Batman Beyond. That's yes, cool. with, with uh, uh, McGillis. Yeah. Or McGinnis. 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 Terry McGinnis. Yeah, Terry McGinnis. I thought that was <laughs> awesome. If that was a great take, I honestly hope that is a totally, completely alternate future, like, like how they do, you know, Earth Prime and Earth 26 and yeah. stuff like that. In my mind, as much as... You know, they kept calling him old man and they kept talking to him Mr. Wayne. And I think a few times they do call him Bruce. To me, that timeline is a alternate timeline where that is not Bruce Wayne, that is Damian Wayne. See, I don't see it that way. And this is really yeah, I, that's that's Bruce. It, it has to it's Bruce in my opinion. It has to be Bruce. I like what you're thinking, but at the same time it can't be because it's it's still Kevin Conroy voicing him. It's still the same he acts yeah. the same as Bruce Wayne in the old the old animated series. Now this is my 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 issue though. The animated series was what fifties. Um, it it kind of suggested that it was a like nineteen fifties style, kind of like Fallout is that nineteen yeah. fifties ish, but it takes place in like twenty seventy seven. Yeah, well, you get my point. It's still like yeah. it's fifties. You know, they got blimps in the air and stuff like that. Yeah, and then yeah, you go, very World War Two ish. And then you go from that to like this tech based society, real dark, lots of red and black. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah, the, fir- the very first episode where the Joker's appear, it was great. <laughs> That was right. funny. But Don't you know who we are, old man? We're the we're jokers. the jokers. Sure you are. Sure you are. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it was beautiful. It was just beautiful yes. to see that. But you know, like it just I makes even no like Gentleman Ghost. Gentleman Ghost. I, pretty fun. I thought he was an interesting character. I don't know if he's in the comics. Are I, you talking I, about I, the great the Gentleman Ghost or the Grey Ghost? No, no, no the gentle Gentleman Ghost. Oh, okay. He was a very he he was like a spectral, very ethereal, carried a cane. Had had like the, the like the cool hat and the and the trench coat you know type thing or not the trench coat but the long you know tuxedo tail and he was very sophisticated I think he had a monocle he, he was very he was a very interesting character all right and then there was the gray ghost who was voiced by Adam West yes yes it was kind of weird to see Batman fanboying out a little bit but at the same time it made Batman so relatable yes <laughs> I think the original animated series was well not the original original. 
Uh, I'm talking about like the animated series w- was great. I think season four though was kind of hit or miss. Yeah, because that's when they when they it was the new adventures of Bat Superman and Batman. Yeah, it was it was when they kind of brought like, really the adventures yeah. of Batman and Robin and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, really weird <clears throat> change in the art style. Well, the WB uh, actually changed stuff around a lot because they yeah were... the Joker looked ridiculous. Same, uh, it's still Mark Hamill, still you know still Kim yeah. Connery, but he looked weird. Harley didn't look any different. Well, you got to look at it this way. At one point, it was okay that the franchise was owned by Fox, right? That's true. Yeah. And then that from there, it went from it Fox WB. to WB, and when WB yeah, got because, a hold of it, yeah, Superman ended up having a show. It did kind of well. Then they combined the two. Yes, and it didn't. Yeah, and Superman's show was pretty cool too. But that's that's another series. Yeah, and we uh, can't end we can't end without talking about you know probably one of the coolest and most tragic characters at the same time. Harley fucking Quinn. Oh, I love Harley Quinn. I have I have a dude she is probably her. next to the Joker. She is the greatest villain that Batman has. And yeah. yes, she is Batman's villain. I really think that without the Joker, she would be kind of like, you know, do whatever. I think Injustice got it right where if she needed to, she would join up with with Batman if it would fit her interest cuz she's only doing things to make her pudding happy. Yes. Is that is her whole focus. That's her and life. Think, yeah. And where the games got it right, she totally blames Batman for the Joker's death. So, of course, she's going after him. Mm -hmm. I will say this. I don't like Tara Strong as (laughs) Harley. And we've said this time time and time again. again. I just... Look, Tara Strong has a very particular voice. She always sounds like one of three characters. Bubbles, Raven... Or, or 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 Starfire. When when I hear her being Harley in in the games, especially in freaking Arkham Knight, it really just sounds like Tara Strong trying to pretend to be Harley, like she's dressed up like her for Halloween. The way I see it is, and Tara, you are a very pretty lady, but whatever. Uh, the thing is, is that the way I see it is that is that they gave us of one particular voice for Harley Quinn for years. Yeah. Now for some and reason or another, yes. And she that original voice actress had the range of being able to go from a very sophisticated doctor, I'm going to ask you some questions. This is what we're doing to my name's Harley, Harley Quinn. Yes. So And it's like she could go back and forth. Mm-hmm. Like when she was mad, she would stop doing the happy go lucky Harley stuff. I remember one episode where the Joker actually got mad at her in the anime series. I remember going, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. You know, we're actually seeing some kind of domestic violence going on yes. here. Yes. Is, is that where he kicked her out and she went with, like, Poison Ivy? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good that's Yeah, a good, and, and she goes from being like this mm. airhead around Joker, being like, oh, Puddin', oh, my goodness, to where she's, like, actually mad, and she loses the ha-ha to get out of my way. I'm going to break your neck. And it's yeah. like... Oh my God! Stay out of her way. Yeah, and she's, she's done right. that with she Batman. Is, yeah, she's she's insane. But Brett, but Joker kind of broke her. Yeah, and, you know, it's, I it, it's would really break sad. Harley. And honestly, I don't think Joker cares that much about Harley. He keeps her around because no. she's a hot piece of ass, and that's about it. He does, but he doesn't. He, I think Joker yeah. likes the attention. Joker, yeah, it, and because that's what he's about. Joker yeah. likes the attention. Yeah, and I think I think <clears> the game of justice and look, Ed Boon and the guys, they're they're great. It's a fun game. I think they stepped over a line just a little bit with how the Joker treated Harley. He he was very overly abusive in that game, <laughs> where like he actually backhands her. And I'm not talking about because it's a fighting game, but like he actually backhands her. He's constantly talking down to her. And yes, there are times where Joker loses and he takes it out on Harley, but I don't I don't think it's like that constantly between them. I just think it was just like, yeah, I I remember playing the game and watching the cutscenes and going, eh, I think that's just a little too far in that direction of their yeah. relationship. I don't think it's quite that bad all the time. Well, you got to look but, at it this way too. Yeah. At a certain in a certain aspect, like we'll say uh Batman Arkham City I mean, Arkham yeah. City. When Tara Strong's first started playing, started yeah, playing, yeah, yeah. playing the, yeah, they, you gotta notice that, you know, I noticed that a lot of, a lot of the, you know, the NPCs started making fun of Harley, telling people, yes, stupid. You know, a psychotherapist yeah, her an is not she, fucking stupid. stupid. Yeah. She acts that way because that's how Joker wants her to act. Yep. She's doing it to please her pudding. I okay. I will say this though, in Arkham City, where she comes back flipping in. And you catch and you catch her by the foot and slam her against the wall. Yeah, that was pretty damn funny. It was. It's yeah. She but she, <laughs> she somewhere down the line she went from being like complete badass to like 
act of just being stupid. Yeah. And like, like, like a pretender. And that's what I didn't like how they did her in Arkham Knight when she's like coming out and she's got the machine gun. She's trying so hard, but she's just too stupid and bad at this. Yeah. I'm sorry, but honestly, I think if Harley was allowed full reign and she was that mad at Batman, she would do some damage. There would be some ass kicking done. I, yeah, I really think that she would be a force to be reckoned with, especially if she's pregnant with Joker's child, like it suggests. I, I really do. And that was, yeah, and with the whole, yay, go get him style voice of, of mm-hmm. Harley by Tara, it just drove me up a wall a little bit. Well, Tara, Tara Strong, I, I personally think she's an amazing voice actress, even though she does have three inflictions. She's got three voices. So it's like, it's like Johnny Yon Voss. It's, you know, he, he, she's got, he's the got range. two voices. She's got three. She's got the range. She can, you know, and the big thing about voice acting is actually having emotion in your voice when you're. Yeah, she, and she can do it. Yeah, she can. She, do it. I, I will give her that. She can get the emotion across. So, you know, that that said and done, she's a great voice actress. It's just voice actress. It's just that she can't play certain characters. And you got to get in your head that you can't play certain characters. Yeah. No one, I don't want to hear her play Harley Quinn anymore, but she's scheduled to play her. Yeah. It's just how it's just it's just what it is. And like I've yeah, said, it's... I'm looking forward to Suicide Squad. I, I think the chick that they got to play Harley, I think she's got the look. She's got the body. The few lines I've heard her say, I'm interested in the way that she's playing it. My I really hope we, yeah, I really hope we get to see Joker, you know, breaking her and become, you know, kind of show and have her like doing flashbacks or something of of of, of becoming, you know, who she is. Will again, Will Smith. Okay, Deadshot, dude, you got this. <laughs> I, I I I'm convinced after seeing him in the outfit. So yeah, I mean, just he, he's convinced the shit out of me. I don't really know who Domino is or Captain Boomerang. I know a lot of people do, and I'm gonna get some flack for saying, "Oh, you call yourself a nerd." I'm a nerd, not a geek. Uh, <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. I know Domino and, and Captain Boomerang. Yeah. So it's- so I mean, it, it it's interesting. It looks like we're gonna see Bat Flick or Bat Flack in in this uh, in the uh, in the new in the uh, uh, Suicide Squad. Because it takes place in the same same world. So I hope f- that we firm believer. I hope that he dies of a heart attack and they find someone else. Because <laughs> yeah. I cannot stand Ben Affleck as a person and an actor. No. I'll tell you what though, that boy's got the fucking jawline for it. Yeah, I'll give it. That guy that. could break <clears throat> bricks with his face. I'll say that. I'll say that. <laughs> but at the same time, it's still Affleck. You know, if you can't, and some people are going to disagree with me on this, but I'm going to say it this way: if you can't, if you fuck up Daredevil. You should probably never, ever be able to play a fucking superhero ever again. That's true. Because Daredevil is a pretty badass superhero. Poorly translated movie. Yeah. Well, bad, bad script. Bad. Then yeah, again, it could have been, it could have been the same thing with like you know Batman and Robin, where it was just bad fucking direction. Yeah. But I, I don't. I, everyone else didn't play over the top. That's true. So anyway. Oh, yeah. So yeah, <laughs> well, go watch the animated series. Uh, Brave and the Bold is good. John DiMaggio is the Joker in that one. I think it's an interesting take on the Joker. Uh, it's just for me, the Joker will always sound like Mark Hamill's Wait, version. DiMaggio's Joker in Brave and the Bold. Brave and the Bold. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it like I said, interesting take on on the Joker. I think I think he does a, a decent enough I, job on it. It's another just, guy from the Drew Carey style plays Batman. Yeah. He yeah yeah he's the uh, uh, he plays Batman in that. Uh, I forget how to pronounce his last name. It starts with a D, and it's kind of long. I mean, like I'm one to talk with the last name Pasolacqua, but <laughs> you know, yeah, definitely check it out. Season four, like I said, is a little is both hit and miss. Some of it's kind of cool. Some of it's eh. They bring in some interesting characters. The original movies were interesting. At least the first one was. The second one's kind of okay. Third and fourth one and whatever are, are terrible. Same with the new Batman movies, though. Well, I think the second one was good. It's just you know with Heath Ledger as Joker. I think it was better than the first one, but that voice. Also, if you want to hear some more lore of Batman, like the whole Batman universe, go get the uh, uh, the Arkham games. Yes, all of the Arkham games, games. Yeah, are amazing. You know, as much as people bitched about the last one, Arkham Knight, I still liked it. I loved Arkham Knight. Yeah, it's a great game. So, Ending wasn't what you're <clears> expecting, and we won't spoil it here for you. Yeah. But uh, interesting game. It was an amazing. Very, very fun. The lot to do. You know, the, lot the reveal of the do. Arkham Knight was a little disappointing in my opinion. Once yeah. again, I'm not going to spoil it. But the game was amazing. Now, before we before we end this episode, Sunray, I want you to tell them, tell our listeners what episode 10 is all about when we get to episode oh, 10. Yes, episode 10 is going to be our big boss episode. We're going to try and bring in at least one other person, maybe two, have a nice big discussion. We're going to be talking about 
the Twilight Zone. Beautiful, beautiful show. And then we actually already have uh, episode 11 lined up. You're actually going to be introduced to my brother, P-Rock, and we're going to be talking about the Rocky movies in that one. Yes, uh, he's, he's actually yeah. going to see uh, Creed. Creed today. So, And I, I am praying that Creed becomes this generation's Rocky. I want to see a new franchise set in that universe following following Creed around. And please, Stallone, Apollo's son has to be at least as badass as Apollo was. At least. Maybe like 75%. <laughs> yeah. If he's 70, if he is 50% as badass as, as Apollo was, this is going to be a hit. And I, I, I want to see this movie. I just don't have time. I'm working six days straight right now. But I have got to see this movie, Creed. It has got my interest up. I am excited. And hopefully I'll see it by the time we do the episode. Yes. So... Yeah. With that being said and done, everyone, we will end the episode. We hope you enjoyed this. We're sorry for a little intoxicated and a little forgetful, yeah. but uh, yeah, just enjoy yeah. it. Have fun. And remember, you go out there and you be good to each other. <laughs> Where's the Joker? <laughs> All right. Goodbye, everybody. See ya. <laughs>